Virgo, welcome in to your a weekly reading. One of my favorite readings to do all week is tap into my Virgo's Virgo energy. As always, if you're interested in a more personalized reading from me, be sure to check the link in the description box. Otherwise, let's dive right in. I'm going to talk a little bit first about the astrological um, th happenings this week because uh, it's a really significant week as we lead up to next week's full moon in Sagittarius. Now, if you know your rising sign, if you know um, which house that Sag rules in your chart, it's going to be a release sort of on that note. But this week we have Venus and Taurus moving into a conjunction with Uranus, as well as, you know, it's going to be very close to that north node. So expect unexpected surprises, especially in matters of love and money. Again, look at where you have Taurus in your chart, which house does it rule over? Um, because that's where you're going to experience it. I feel like to a certain degree, unless you have some strong Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio placements, then you are going to feel this very intensely. But to a certain degree, it's going to be good surprises because um, these conjunctions are going to be trining our uh, placements in Virgo. So depending on where you have your sun, this could just be kind of expanding fortunate events happening. I'm already predicting some people might get like unexpected money, surprises, things like that. But Venus is also going to be opposite Pluto um, in Scorpio. If you have natal placements in Scorpio, or if you are like a late 80s, early 90s baby, your Scorpio could be um, opposite Venus this week, like mine is, uh, which is bringing kind of revelations. This weekend's going to be a little bit intense, especially with the south node there in Scorpio. So lots of releases, lots of surprises that are helping us release um, and let go of what we need to okay intense energy this week but there's there's like those surprises so a lot of the readings i've been doing i feel like we're gonna see that happen this week so let's get some oracle cards and see what is the energy for virgo this week song i got on shuffle was only you by little mix it's like no one else can save me only you um I feel like somebody around you is going to go through something really shocking and unexpected and they're going to come to you for help. Like, it's like, like, I can only tell this to you type of thing. Like, only you. This could be a, a lover. It could be a friend. But I definitely feel like there's somebody who's going to come to you and be like, you're the only one who can help me with this. Um... Let's see, what is happening for Virgo this week? We have hard work, commitment, and perseverance. So there could be something that you've been working really hard on here um, that you're going to continue to push forward or like a commitment that you're making this week. Um, let's see, two more. Mystery, secrets, and hidden meanings. So this is what I'm saying. And then we have set intentions, plant the seeds and watch them grow. We have breathe, inhale, exhale, create space within. I keep picking up on this energy where it's like not everything is visible to you yet, but it's going to be. This could be, this weekend could be the weekend that like these secrets come out or like some kind of secret comes out um, or something that's been hidden from you is going to be revealed, you know? Uh, let's see. What are the moonology cards? for the week for Virgo. We have a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer. So this could be family too. It could deal with family ties around like, you know, somebody, some kind of revelation. We have the answers you need are coming. We got a lot of blues here. So this is a lot of throat chakra. So like I said, there's communication coming in. The be bold and make the first move, a time to give rather than take. So I do feel like 
there is this feeling of like you're going to be getting some kind of information, some kind of communication, some kind of insight that's going to trigger you to take some kind of action here with this be bold, make the first move. Um, so I'm, I'm picking up on that really strongly. Like there's some kind of info coming towards you, whether this is communication um, and it's going to trigger you to to take some kind of action here. OK, so bottom of the deck energy, we have the three of wands. So see, this is like something you've been working towards um, showing up like this is something showing up for you that you've been working towards it, but you've also been waiting for it. Something you've been waiting on is showing up this week. OK. Uh, overall energy of the week for my Virgos. Wow, 10 of cups. So doubling down on the fact that this could involve like family, home life, the 10 of cups is that emotional fulfillment. So overall, I really see this being a happy week for you. Something showing up that you've been waiting on. Something showing up that you've been waiting on. We have the two of swords. It does feel like this is stemming from some kind of insight because the two of swords is kind of like she's going within to find the answers so you could find you could stumble upon some like personal insight that's helping you reach that ten of cups energy let's see two of crystals here and mind you this could be somebody else as well um the justice card okay so there is going to be some sort of justice some sort of balancing out, some sort of decision made this week. And the Nine of Wands. All right, so Two of Crystals. This is weighing out our options, juggling the Nine of Crystals. Um, this week, I feel like you're going to have options or you're going to have something to consider, okay? But I feel like this is actually gonna be something that you're not gonna dwell on for very long because it is gonna require some kind of swift action here. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Fool card. I feel like this is either somebody else's energy here, getting ready to take some kind of leap of faith. This person like very, very vulnerable, very hidden, um, or very guarded in regards to their vulnerability, but I feel like they're coming out of that and taking some kind of leap of faith here. This could be that justice card. This could be that energy that you've been waiting on, this kind of opportunity. Um, but the justice card here, it's like, this is like long overdue. It, 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 it could talk about, you know, some kind of justice that I feel like is coming in for you. Like the personal issue reaches resolution. If you've been waiting on some kind of settlement, something like that, it feels like it's coming this week. So we have the seven of wands, which is the perseverance card. So overcoming some kind of obstacle here, the lovers, Gemini energy, also choice energy. And then we have the five of swords. Okay, so the seven of wands here for you, I feel like there is something that you're over, you're, you're like this week to me, it feels like buckling down and getting through it, getting something like something taking off for you, but because you're kind of like buckling down and getting it done. What is the seven of wands doing here, please? The moon. So this is like, you know, this is that feeling of illusions, not being able to see something clearly. But here's the thing. If you look at like this seven of wands, how she's kind of like she can't see over the thing, but she knows she has to like get over it. But she's kind of peeking. This kind of feels like it's like to get through some kind of an obstacle. You kind of have to go through it and you kind of have to go through it blindly. Like there's something you're going through here this week that's going to be um, like you're not going to see the outcome of it until like you get through it. You know, you have to kind of overcome this, like what's right in front of you first before you can see like the full picture clearly. So why is the five of swords here? 
the three of cups okay so the interesting thing is with the lovers card here this can talk about a choice that we have to make like a choice in regards to love um this can also talk about a partnership like you know one of those higher level soulmate partnership type of things um the five of swords and the three of cups I mean some of you might be making decisions between two people two options what is this five of swords and the three of cups doing here the queen of swords so I feel like there's somebody that you're dealing with that is about to take some kind of action towards you with the five of swords. This person feels like a little bit like there is this feeling of defeat here. Like I feel like this person has recently lost something. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like there's somebody who's coming in and they're going to bring you some kind of clarity around a situation. But they're also going to be kind of communicating to you that it's like. I need your help here. Let me see, what is this Seven of Wands moon card? What is this illusion around? The Four of Cups. Like I feel like you're trying to just get out of this headspace right now of this Four of Cups, like um, pushing past these feelings. Maybe you're feeling like a little bit stuck in your emotions or trapped. So you're kind of pushing through this but it almost feels like as you're pushing through this, there is this energy coming forward to you that kind of wants to pull you back into it. Like, I, I feel like, mm, it feels like you're you're moving forward, but then like, there's like a curveball. I don't know, let's get these last ones. We have the strength card. We have the four of swords, and then we have the wheel of fortune. So faded forward movement positive outcomes the strength card here like all of these all of your cards because normally the top for me is like the viewers energy then I have mutual energy and then external energy external can be a person it can be events it can be things that are taking place here in your energy I see you gathering like the strength like this is that be bold and make the first move I see you gathering some kind of strength to overcome something and to like persevere and push forward, like staying the course, staying committed. What is the strength card doing here? Leo energy, what is the strength card doing here? The star card, wow. So again, this is like um, hope, wish fulfillment, um, courage, courage to kind of go after that wish fulfillment. What is the star card doing here? The nine of crystals. Yeah, some of you are gonna come into some money this week or you're gonna come into an opportunity that is going to provide you a lot of money because with the strength, the star card, the nine of crystals, this is like me standing on my own two feet, knowing that I'm self-reliant, knowing that I am abundant, knowing that I'm taken care of, knowing that I'm rooted, I'm grounded, and that gives me strength and it gives me hope. So what is the Wheel of Fortune doing here? Whatever goes down here, know that it is faded and it is positive forward movement. It is part of the plan, okay? Even if it's a little bit crazy and chaotic, it's part of the plan. What's the Wheel of Fortune doing here? The Sun card, wow, okay, one more. One more. The Queen of Cups, yeah. So, and then the Two of Cups. So the Sun card, lots of Leo energy, which could be this like self-expression that's happening here. Something could be illuminated with the Queen of Cups. This is like that nurturing vulnerability, emotion. Um, somebody could be expressing their emotions here to you. Like I said, it feels like there's somebody who at some point this week will be making themselves vulnerable to you. Um, in terms of like you're like you're the only person who i think that can help me with this and i need help that's what i feel i feel like that but there's something about this that is really big it's like a big deal so let me see 
What is coming in for my Virgos this week? What is coming in for my Virgos this week? We have the Chariot card. What is coming in for my Virgos? The Nine of Cups. Whoa. Virgos. The Seven of Pentacles. This feels like a major wish fulfillment. The Four of Wands. Some of you could be having some kind of celebration because it does feel like there is some kind of wish fulfillment happening for you. Um, there is some kind of like intentions that you set, some something here that you've invested in that it feels like blossoming and blooming. You're going to celebrate this. The chariot card, there could be some kind of travel coming in for you. Um, what does this... What are you going to be celebrating this week? What is this nine of cups? The six of cups. Okay, so could be you could be going to some kind of reunion. If this isn't a path, if this isn't a person like a reconciliation or like meeting a past life soulmate, this is like you going to some kind of reunion and reconnecting with people. Um, what is this wish fulfillment? Six of cups, the page of cups. Feels like there's somebody coming towards you. What are they going to be saying? Six of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Page of Crystals. So the Six of Swords, this could be somebody who is communicating with you, like, online. This could also be, like, you know, moving. This person having moved on, left something behind. What did they leave behind? The Three of Crystals and the Nine of Swords. Let me leave behind the Awakening card. I feel like this person had like some wake up. Like they've been working on something with the Three of Pentacles here. It's like they're ready. They're ready to reveal. They're ready to reveal whatever it is that's going on here. What is this person going to be revealing? Seven of Cups. What is this person going to be revealing? The Hermit. Nine of Cups. Some of them are going to be revealing like a dream that they've had or like daydreaming. Like that they've been daydreaming. Like the the they've had some kind of enlightenment. The Knight of Cups to the Hierophant. Some of you guys are getting proposed to this week. Some of you are going to be getting some kind of proposal. This could be in regards to love or this could be in regards to um, the Hierophant here. That, that's Taurus energy. It's the energy of commitment, but it's like higher spiritual commitments as well. Um, what is this? What are you... What are you moving towards this week? What are you moving towards this week? The world card, the ending of a cycle, the five of crystals, the queen of wands, the hierophant. Um, this is something that I think that it's going to be so out of your comfort zone, <laughs> not so out of your comfort zone, that like whatever it is, you're going to surprise yourself. You're going to surprise yourself um because the world card it's it's talking about the ending of a cycle but for some of you like I, I keep picking up on this like um perhaps moving 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 somewhere far away or getting some kind of opportunity that's far away some kind of opportunity that might feel like it's out of your comfort zone but I think it's like whatever it is you're making some kind of commitment to this thing and I feel like when you do that it's like you stepping into your power and you surprising yourself. I think that you're going to surprise yourself this week. That's what's going to surprise you. That's the surprise. It's like you surprising yourself. How do you surprise yourself? Eight of Cups. The Three of Swords. And the Page of Wands. I feel like you're going to be walking away from something that's in the past. Doesn't serve you. No longer serves you. Um, and that brought you disappointment. And I feel like this is actually a pattern. It's like something I'm hearing like deja vu. It's something that's happened before. It feels like it's happened to you before. Um, and it's like, I've been down this road and you handle it differently. And in handling it differently, you heal this. 
The death card, yeah. This is going to be like a transformative week here. The eight of crystals and the two of wands. Like I said, I feel like you're going to be taking action towards something. There's some kind of change, transformation, the light at the end of the tunnel. Whatever it is showing up this week, it, it feels like you see the light. I see the way out. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to put in the work. And the effort like the first step is hard work and commitment i see the light i'm going to continue walking towards it i'm going to continue making the effort to move towards that light um and like the first step i feel like is a bold one the first step is a bold action the empress whoa um so this could revolve around expressing yourself or like that 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 birth that that pregnancy energy i mean some of you could be you know that could be the energy of the week but this is like giving birth to something new some kind of new beginning that you're embarking on that is um like the first move feels like a bold one and and for the empress to come up in that bold move <laughs> the tower the empress and the tower then the ten of swords because it's almost like you are leaving behind this pattern. Why is that tower showing up? High Priestess, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. So I feel like there is gonna be this um, unexpected either person showing up for you or partnership that's showing up for you that is like, okay, this is it. I need to take action here. Um, taking that first step, the Ace of Wands, that's like that bold movement. So that's sort of what I'm seeing going on here. Virgo, um, if you're interested in diving a little bit deeper into this, the extended, I will be pulling archetype cards. I'll be pulling from a different tarot deck. We'll pull from the romance angels. We'll pull some of these heart to heart messages for those that resonate with love. Um, we'll get kind of a clearer understanding, but I'm gonna pull archetype cards just to see like different possibilities of what could be showing up here. So if you're interested in that, be sure to click the link in the description box and I will see you there.